And, you know, Tommy Adley, you always used to go on about how, why is it that, um, that, that uh, you can have songs like Route 66 and we haven't got, you know, State Highway 1 and then he did Rock yeah. and Roll Ponsonby. You can get, yeah, yeah. it's just a slow process. As, it is. And, and it dawned on me has got it there yeah. naturally without any forcing. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't occur to me that mentioning place names and stuff would, would, you know, was anything to cringe at. It just seemed right. You know, I did the same with a song called Madeline Avenue, which was very specific. Madeline Avenue hood, real people giving birth. To continue the love, somehow raise a family coming out of shit. This used to be a street of 173 state houses, but in the late 90s, a developer changed all that. Yeah, man, Madeline Avenue loomed large as a, a bit of a tricky neighborhood, and there's no memory of it now, not even a memorial apart from the song. <laughs> call this my street of shame. I changed the name to Mount Taylor Drive because Madeline Avenue was shortened to Mad Ave. And it was given such bad stick in the paper that people were kind of shamed out of the street, you know. But Glen Innes was a much maligned suburb in a way, a bit like Priory Rua in Wellington or Aranui in Christchurch, you know. It was one of those neighbourhoods that people talk badly about. I've had many a, many a time in those places as a kid, eating, uh, eating flounder and watching all the uncles and aunties drinking beer. To some people, these places represent uh, poverty or whatever, but I, I found nothing but a richness of life amongst these, these places when I grew up. My world was very small when I was growing up. My primary school was just across the road, a college about a mile away, just behind Mount Taylor. I'd come up on this hill just to daydream and uh, think about music. There were mo no Walkmans in those days, so you just had to imagine things. <laughs> Beautiful. Behind me is Sacred Heart College. I spent many years here from 1968 to 1974, on and off. Uh, off, I would take a few weeks off at a time because we were caned a lot. The drama department was uh, very lively and they'd put on shows every year. And in those shows, the likes of Tim Finn and Neil Finn would perform without any nerves. It seemed to me they'd performed without any nerves. I was far too shy to be involved in anything like it, but they would totally excite me. And years later, my old school comrade Neil Finn agreed to produce Twist. I've got the longest hair I've what had exactly in years. What exactly are we so, going to do? Um, that doesn't matter to you, I suppose, but... What? The longest hair I've had in years. I've been meaning to get a haircut, but I just haven't got around to it. Wish so. I could say that. Well, 